Hey everybody, Hayden here, and you're probably wondering, why am I holding these two action figures? And that's what I want to talk about today. Our rummage sales. So this is going to bring this up to. I'm going to shut my door real quick. So rummage sales are just people, you know, is selling their toys and stuff. And I found one on Marketplace today. And they had Star Wars and G.I. Joe stuff, Mega Blocks, all stuff I like to collect. And I found these two figures today for this one I got for five bucks. And the phase two clone trooper from the Clone Wars era for four bucks. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but both these guys are kind of rare. Especially everyone always wants this figure too. And you know, sure, he didn't come with his gun or his little jetpack or anything, but it's still just amazing how I got it for so cheap. And this Bart Trooper, the only thing he's missing is his gun and his antenna. But it came with this gun right here, a little pulse can. Ugh, what the heck are these things called? Ion cannons, there we go. That's what he came with. And they were so cheap, I had to buy them, you know. A total of nine bucks to spend on these guys isn't that a steal or what and you know that's kind of today's topic is gonna be lego or just action figures i actually saw this figure right here for five dollars in lego i didn't pick it up because i have a couple of them but yeah so it's really interesting what you can find there at rummage sales. So that's kind of what I want to talk about are good rummage sales and bad rummage sales. There's not really such a thing as a bad rummage sale per se, but there are some you might want to maybe stay away from or something. I'm going to give this figure a blaster while talking. And there's some stuff you might just not want to go to. Like if there's a place selling car stuff and Hmm, trying to clone trooper action figure build or something like that that's not going to be the right place for you to go but a place with like toys in it or something then yeah you always go check them out if you see some toys in the yard or something this one was just a toy sale i found on marketplace which is a really good spot to find toy sales i think so that's what I would recommend going on. That's how I found this one. And it was like a 40 minute drive or so from my house, which isn't that bad, obviously. It's kind of a nice drive, you know. It gets me out of the house too, so. Something just kind of nice to think about. And you all know me, I love clone troopers so a lot, so you know. I had to get this set of figurines. There was a bunch of other clone troopers there too. There was a Echo without his helmet or anything. I did not buy that. I already have two Echo molds. I don't have, and that one didn't have a fixed helmet. Otherwise I would have bought it because the one I bought was just a little off. So hold this blaster. So much. And yeah, so basically, just kind of stop for rummage sales if you ever see them. That'd be really good buys and find cool stuff. You never know what you're going to find at those. It's kind of what I like about that. So I gave them each their own little blasters. If you guys didn't know, I have a little container filled with weapons and accessories and stuff. So yeah, overall, it was pretty fun. And then we went to a couple other garage sales. I went to GameStop today, so kind of a little toy hunt, but didn't find what I was really looking for at the stores, sadly. But it was still a win for getting these amazing figures. 
even though this one and this one don't have the jetpack or antenna, it's still a good find because these figures are kind of rare. And the Bark Troopers are going up in value right now, so, you know, now is a good time to buy them. Especially for five bucks on them. This guy usually goes for 20 like, out of the packaging, but with all the accessories and everything. And, yeah. So, yeah. Another thing is, there was an ARF Trooper with the Phase 1 clone body, which I was tempted to buy, but I was already spending $9, so I didn't want to spend any more than I really wanted to. I mean, I was thinking about it, because I do have a Phase 1 clone head in there I haven't used, but, yeah. But, yeah, so, let's go to toy sales if you ever find any. They're always fun places to go, and sometimes you even meet new people. Alright everybody, just a nice quick video. See ya.